Hi, this is Rob Wilcox. Just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of the uh, Enterprise Vault 10.0.2 mailbox archiving reports. So if we go into the VAC, go into our tasks and we see the normal exchange mailbox archiving task. If I do a run now on this, I'm going to archive all mailboxes, all items and click OK. So it starts processing them as normal. Now, we go to the properties of this and go to the reporting tab. We can see starting off here a load of new helpful reports. And I can click on view reports, which takes me to um, a web page on the EV server. So you can access, access this from any browser and once you're prompted for credentials and so on, you can then get in. Uh, you can see that the current status of the task is running and I can go and look at a HTML report. Well, what you get in this report is a summary of what EV is currently doing. So you can see that I asked it to run now on everything so it's uh, targeted 63 mailboxes two of them is currently finished and it's running. I can refresh this from time to time and the numbers on there will carry on moving along. So we'll just give that a few minutes to run and in the meantime I'll show you one of the reports that I did before which is this one. So you can see uh, when it ran you can see um, uh, the type that it was which was a run now you can see how many items were archived and I targeted just one mailbox and just one mailbox completed and over here you can see what happened, which policy it was, how many items, the youngest item that was archived and how many items were ineligible. You get cool pop-up help on each of the things that um, are column headings here and you can even then get more details still which scrolls off down here so you can see what happened with regards to quota uh, reasons why items weren't archived and you can see here I've got a folder marked as do not archive you can see what happened to shortcuts and the processing of them so if you remember part of the normal archiving is that it will archive uh, uh, all the items and it will also process the shortcuts that have moved around the mailbox and you can see when it started processing when it finished processing and how long it took and the number of passes on the mailbox it's an awesome amount of detail. Go back to our currently running one. You can see now that it's got through 12 uh, mailboxes. We'll leave that going again for a minute and I'll show you now that the other cool thing that you get is if I refresh the event log. Um, I've got some errors there. Okay. Um, you can see here I get uh, an event log entry saying that the run started. You can see how many mailboxes were targeted. And that's all good information. Now what we'll do is I'll pause the video for a few minutes and wait for the scheduled archiving to finish and then I will be able to finish off the video. Just wanted to jump back in uh, whilst this report is still running. Not quite got to the end yet. I've only done 13 of uh, the 63 uh, targeted mailboxes. But you can see here that I've now started to get quite a few items archived. And the cool thing is, as we all know, the archiving task uses multiple threads. Three mailboxes are partially processed. So there are three mailboxes that we're currently working our way through simultaneously uh, with different threads. It's really cool to see this in the reporting. I'll pause the video again and come back to you when the report's finished. So uh, now we've got to the end of the archiving report. What we can see here is um, that the archiving runs now finished. Um, processed 63 mailboxes and if we go back now to the ordinary report, which is this one, and I refresh this page, you can see now that the status is listed as complete. And if I go into the report here, now again you can see a huge amount of information on here. Just scroll down slowly here, you can see the number of items that have been processed and so on, all the way down. Really, really, really useful.
and uh, finally we've been um, we've been given what we wanted. You can also see here that there's uh, one mailbox with no action taken. You can see that is right here. The mailbox is disabled. That's why no action was taken. What we'll see is we had the start event here saying a run now had been started against all the mailboxes and now finally we've got the run ended event. A run has now ended. 63 mailboxes targeted, 62 processed, one with action skipped. So finally on the mailbox archiving side of things we've got a start event logged in the event log and a finish event logged in the event log. So hopefully you'll be upgrading to EV 10.02 soon and you'll be able to make use of the archiving reports too. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.